Okay, welcome back. We're now going to do chapter three of this uh, video series. And in this chapter, we're going to add the in-app purchase mechanics to the game so we can actually get uh, the catalog, you know, show you how to add the catalog to the game, buy items, uh, show some stats with the player, uh, and for so forth. Um, so we're all set and ready to go here. Now, one note, uh, I ran through this earlier and had a bug, which I had to stop and fix. And so we're going to, we fixed the bug, and now it's going to work perfectly. Um, but you might notice a couple inconsistencies. You may notice my, my player's account has changed a little bit from uh, the last chapter to this one, and that explains why. So what we're looking at here is the Unity demo again. And now we're going to go ahead and add uh, this particular prefab. We're going to add um, three new prefabs to the scene. We're going to add uh, the Marketplace menu prefab. We're going to add the, uh, the Inventory prefab, I guess Item menu prefab right here. Yep. And we're also going to add the, um, let's find it, we're also going to add the uh, player stats prefab. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. And so what these do, the market, the market menu prefab, this is what's going to add at the bottom of the screen uh, a, a catalog. Uh, or when you click on the catalog, this is what's going to show you what you can buy. And this is actually configured from the catalog that we, we edited in the last chapter uh, in the game manager. Uh, the item menu is going to show at the bottom of the screen sort of what you have in your current inventory. And finally, the player stats are going to show you uh, updates on the side of the screen for things like um, how much money I have in my account and so forth. So let's go ahead and, um, and run this demo and log in again as, uh, as we do. All right, so a couple new things here. You're going to notice now um, that on the top left, I've got some. Oh, You'll notice on the top left, I've now got. It's hard to see a little bit. I've now got this this uh, readout right here showing me how much money I have, and it's currently saying 2,700. Um, it doesn't say 3,000 because I already spent 300 while I was fixing that bug I told you about. But that's what happened there. And then the bottom of the screen, you can now see some items in my inventory, and you can see that I have 400 shots of um, of this one type of ammo. 10 shots of this kind of ammo, uh, and zero health. And, uh, and, and to explain what that's going on there, if I click on this catalog, this is now showing you uh, all the items it's possible to buy. And these are actually being configured directly from the catalog on the server. So for example, if I want to say I want to buy that war pack, I click on the war pack item here. And that's actually going to give me uh, 400 more burst ammo, 10 more cannon ammo, and two health packs. So you see that those just updated there at the bottom. And you can see that my money here, my account, just went down. So let me go ahead and buy this one more time. And you can see this went down again. I've now got these items. And now when I go into the game, I can choose, for example, this cool new weapon. I go over here and shoot. And that's a much more satisfying weapon. And likewise, this cannon is a much more satisfying uh, uh, cannon. And finally, if I, if I let myself get attacked, I'll go over here and let myself get attacked by this guy. I'll let him blow up next to me for a second. Oh, didn't it, sorry, anyway, no way. Yeah, I know it's going on there. But you'll notice that now I've, I'm now actually being able to buy items and actually have them affect the game. So let's go ahead and do some some catalog editing. If I stop this right here and uh, go into the uh, go into my uh, my text editor, go to the catalog. Let's go ahead and change some prices. So instead of uh, the, the 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 war pack costing 220, let's do a special sale. Let's go ahead and say that this is only going to cost 190 now. Uh, save that file. Go and actually, let's make one more change. This particular weapon, I think firing 20 shots per second is actually too slow. Let's make it 30 shots per second, and let's actually change the pitch so it goes up by one. So let's make it an even more intense weapon. Uh, and let's go ahead and now go into the game manager, catalog manage. Let's go ahead and upload that new um, version of the file. And you'll notice that uh, the price has just changed to 190 here for that war pack. Uh, and now when I go in and run the game again, we should now see um, uh, a couple things. So let's go ahead and do that uh, catalog. 190 now, you'll notice. So that's great. So the price changed in the catalog. And now when I choose that weapon, it, you can see it's changed the properties of the weapon. It's shooting faster, and the pitch also went up uh, a little bit there too, which is pretty cool. So um, that's an example of the power of being able to um, 
the power of being able to uh, 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 edit items on the catalog. Now, one note, let's go back to the game match. Let's take a look at my profile here. Uh, if I go and look at that recently added player and bring up Angry Demo 1 player again and go to items, this is going to show me everything in my current inventory. And so you can actually see here's that war pack I purchased uh, for 100 on a GC. And that gave me three items. You can see it gave me a pack of burst ammo of 400, a cannon ammo of 10, and a health pack of 2. And you can see that it's already used 16 of the 400 of that burst ammo pack there. Uh, I, it's already used 7 of the 400 of this other one I'd, I'd, I'd purchased. And earlier, before the thing started, uh, I bought some other items here as well that uh, it hasn't touched yet. And, um, and why, you might be asking me, uh, is it only showing that I've used these as opposed to, because I actually had used more ammo that's not being updated. And it's because normally you would not use a consumable item like this for something as ephemeral as ammunition. So in this case, you, you want to be careful. You don't want to make too many server calls because that can you know, result in poor performance. And so in this case, you would, we're, we're using a consumable here for ammo, really just to kind of prove a point. Ordinarily, you would never want to use ammo for a consumable because it means you have to basically call uh, a function call to the server every single time you use up one bullet, which is kind of a waste. Um, and so in this case, we've actually added a delay where every 15 seconds, it is calling the server and telling it to, to use up some items that have previously been used. And that's why it's actually showing me having more ammo here in my, in my inventory than I actually do because I'm only updating that every 15 seconds or so. Um, so that just explains a little bit of the logic of what's going on with consumables. Um, okay, let's see. Um, so that shows you a little bit of how the 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 um, uh, purchasing stuff works. Let's go ahead and end this chapter here, uh, and then in the next chapter we will focus on adding in. Um, we'll focus on adding in uh, some in-game marketing and some news items. So let's go ahead and end this chapter here.